Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new month. We've got a new comic block in our hands. Now, comic blocks from NerdBlock, one of the many boxes that they do. And a couple months ago, they went and mutated the box and made it all bigger. But bigger hasn't really been better. Uh, the box has kind of slipped in quality. The comics in comic blocks have kind of diminished. The exclusives aren't as impressive. Uh, generally, the box hasn't been worth it. So we're going to open up this one. We're going to see if this box finally bounces back. This will be kind of a key month uh, and go from there. Now, as I said, originally when the box came out, it was like 13 bucks and you tended to get like three, four comics. Or maybe one of them was an exclusive. You might have gotten a t-shirt on top of it. It felt like a really, really good deal. Now, they went and mutated the box and made it bigger. Uh, they upped the price uh, so that it was a lot more expensive and the quality went down. You got less comics. I think the items weren't as good because they weren't exclusives. Uh, just in general, it was a bit disappointing. So we're going to open this up. We're going to go through and we're going to show off what's inside. And hopefully it's good. Uh, first and foremost, well, so far it's, it's actually looking pretty decent. Uh, we've got a exclusive, the first exclusive. Now this one, interesting, it says it does say comic block, so hopefully we won't see this in nerd block. It's a Spider-Gwen number one variant. Uh, it's Spider-Gwen uh, Spider number one annual variant cover. Uh, being a uh, hero is way more, face, more than facing bad guys. Sometimes you gotta face real life. Have a look at a unique take on Classic Tale if you've ever need more thwip in the web crawling action in your life. Add this to your pull list. I mean, Spider-Gwen is a favorite of ours on our site. Um, and it's always cool to see a variant like this. And I gotta say, I do dig that variant. It's really good, um, really cool. I wanna say it's the same person that does like Lola XO, looking at the star, uh, the style, uh, Lola XO, XO from Aspen, um, Saya OEM, I think's the name. Um, probably mispronouncing that one. Uh, it'd be nice if you include that stuff on your little, uh, uh, cards though guys. Uh, next we've got TMNT Bebop and Rocksteady Destroy Everything number one variant second variant cover in this box so two for two that's not bad. Uh, wow to the wow no one can face the Bebop and Rocksteady read this miniseries adventures when our favorite Warthog and Rhino duo find a powerful time travel scepter what will they use it for? Um, IDW's been putting out fantastic TMNT comics and these two get their own. What's also really cool is they've been throwing scenarios in these comics, I think in the fourth and fifth issue. Uh, there's scenarios for the upcoming Team NT board game, so that's pretty neat. Gotta give them credit on that. I think that's just a nice little addition. Uh, this is kind of cool. So we got a bottom print glass. I don't necessarily know, or bottom, sorry. Yeah, it says bottom print glass. I don't know what the hell the difference is between a bottom print glass and a normal glass. So we're about to find out. Uh, so we got a Punisher pint glass. We're going to open it up, show it off. Now, I am a Punisher fan to get a glass like this. Yeah, I'll be a fan of that. I do have some comic-related um, glassware, so to be able to add this will be kind of cool. So we got the Punisher logo and skull, iconic skull on the front, and this is why it's print on the bottom. You can see that. We've got the skull all the way at the bottom, so as you're drinking your glass, you'll eventually get to that. Kind of cool. I haven't seen that before in a glass, so something new and unique. Uh, this is from Surreal Entertainment. I haven't heard of them before, but this is kind of a cool item. I like it. Feels hefty. I know uh, pint glasses tend to go for like, I don't know, 10 bucks, I think, uh, at the at, um, conventions, at least the pint glasses that I'm thinking of. Uh, next, we've got a scaler. NECA Scalers, uh, this one is Deadpool, I really don't know the point of the Scalers, but it's a popular thing that they do for a whole bunch of different brands, uh, it's collect them, hang them, hang them from headphones, attachment to cables, cute minis add a dose of cool to anything they can fit their little hands around, headphones and earbuds, computer cables, electronic cords, lanyards, video game cables, microphone cords, shoelaces, pull cords, I don't necessarily know why you'd want to do that because you know, this does have some heft and I think it would make your headphones rather heavy, but whatever. Uh, so this Spidey isn't the only one who's able to swing. Where is he? You can rock out with your favorite Merc with a mouth hanging around and judging your taste. Music, games, movies, and My Little Pony collection. Don't mock my My Little Pony collection. Uh, finally, we do have a t-shirt. Uh, that was one of those things when they said mutate you're going to get is a t-shirt. This one is Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man t-shirt, though he's not really the Ultimate Spider-Man anymore since the Ultimate Universe doesn't exist. It's a Miles Morales t-shirt. The uh, quality of the, the 
t-shirt itself is kind of a heavy uh, t-shirt and the design is pretty cool. The art's pretty solid. Um, I don't know if I necessarily wear it. Again, I have to go and give them some points off in that corner. It does say NerdBlock and then NerdBlock.com. It's a t-shirt. I don't want to advertise NerdBlock, so it's a little irritating to see that. Um, it is an exclusive item, so are you feeling spectacular today? Maybe even a little bit ultimate? Well, we've got just the thing for you months. Arcade, uh, this month's comic block comes swinging onto your doorstep with this Ultimate Spider-Man t-shirt from Shirt Punch. Uh, they did misprint that, and they said that it was the arcade block. It is not. Uh, Shirt Punch is their block's parent company or sister company or something of that nature. So the t-shirts you get are always from Shirt Punch. Uh, so if you don't like those t-shirts, you're not going to like this one, but... You know, it's always good to be uh, aware of that sort of thing. So overall, we're looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five items, of which four are exclusives, including the cover, which is not bad. I think that's much better than the previous boxes. Uh, so it's a nice bounce back. The T-shirt itself, I probably will sell. Uh, Deadpool scaler, yeah, I probably will sell. But I, you know, I'm going to keep the comics and keep the the pint glass at least. So uh, it's you know somewhat worth it. Kind of a cool thing. Uh, next month we've got. Suicide Squad, what a shock with the movie coming out. Uh, that's exactly what I would think would be on there. And then items from Batman, Predator, and Judge Dredd. So it should be a fairly interesting month. We've got an exclusive item for uh, for Suicide Squad fans. We don't know if the Predator, Judge Dredd, and uh, Batman is exclusive, but it does say there's four exclusives, so we will find out in a month's time. But thank you for watching. This is the Comic Block unboxing. Of course, if you want... Comic, box new, comic news in general, you should check us out at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like your own comic block, you can use the link below this video. It is an affiliate link, so you help support our site. Uh, and yeah, we get a little bit of that, and well, you know, we have to pay for the comic blocks, so uh, you help us do that. But until next month, thanks for watching as always. Keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.